Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, today I just wanted to do a short video to show off something that I've recently finished. Uh, so this, I think I showed this in a previous video as a work in progress, but uh, I've finished it now, or at least finished it enough to be satisfied with it. Um, this is a uh, Squire Strat. I believe it was an Affinity, uh, might have been a bullet, I can't remember. Um, but the guy I got this from had um, customized it his own way. Uh, the guitar was black uh, with, he had a white or a cream pick guard, I can't remember, but he had painted it himself with like finger paints or children's paints or something. He had also painted the headstock and uh, the pickup covers. He moved the pickups around and drilled new holes for tone and volume controls, left the old holes there. It was it was a mess. and uh, But I got a good deal on it because I wanted to customize it. So what I did was I took all the hardware off the guitar, um, I sanded off all the paint that he did, and replaced it with, it's a bit hard to see, the texture, but this is um, a stone textured spray paint. Um, so it's kind of the guitar is primed, that's why it kind of looks gray or blue in different light, and the stone is just a texture on top of that. Um, without the gray, it's it's more white or cream than it is, but the primer darkens it up a bit, so. That's uh, the final color anyway. Um, rather than messing with his pickguard and trying to get the paint off it, I just uh, picked up a cheap replacement. Um, so my idea with this guitar was not just to paint it like that, but I had kind of a Telecaster in mind when I made this. Um, so I had also picked up some uh, replacement pickups from GFS and I got the the lipstick pickups so this is what it looks like right now oh, God. so as you can see the, um, the pick cards just plain white or cream or whatever I had some old volume and tone knobs from um, I think I had gotten them for a different strat that I was doing years ago um, and I ended up using uh, different knobs that I found on eBay so I saved these and uh, they came in handy for this um, I threw a kill switch in here because I only wanted one volume and one tone and I wanted to cover up the hole so kill switch was the easiest idea I've got like I said the GFS I believe they're called uh, Pro Tube lipstick pickups one in the neck and one in the bridge and I left the middle pickup out because like I said I was thinking Telecaster and I really am not a fan of middle pickups on guitars because that's exactly where I pick and I'm constantly hitting the pickup so did away with that and I threw a Telecaster switch in here which is just a three-way selector switch which gives you bridge bridge and middle, or sorry, bridge, bridge and neck, and just neck. So fairly a standard Telecaster wiring arrangement. I've also put a uh, the treble bleed mod on the volume control, so when you roll the volume down you don't lose any treble. So um, that's pretty much it for this guitar. It came out really nice. Um, I'm not going to play it for you just now. Um, I'm going to do a couple of videos separate to it. As uh, you've probably seen, I did a, a silver chair playthrough a little while ago. I've got another one coming out shortly. Well, if not, it's already out. I can't remember which order this is going to go in. But um, I'm going to use this for another silver chair playthrough later on so you can kind of get an idea of, of what it basically sounds like. And then I'm going to do a separate video that will just demonstrate the GFS pickups. 
So uh, hopefully you'll look forward to that. Anyway, um, thanks for watching my description of what I've called the Bastard Caster. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Uh, do you think it's cool? Um, what do you think I should do with this middle pickup hole? I've been trying to figure out what to do to cover it because I don't really like just the bare hole there. I'd like to have something either in that space or like over the space to hide it. I don't know, but I have no idea what to do. So um, suggestions would be cool. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Take it easy.